Oh, you're fucking kidding me. If this ever happens to you on a ride, there's one thing that you're definitely going to need if you want to get home without calling for assistance, and that's some kind of multi-tool which has also got a chain tool on it. And also something that really can come in handy if you ever snap your chain is one of these tiny little chain links. It'll make your job a lot easier. We're going to start by showing you how to repair your chain using a power link. Begin by removing anything that's left of the broken link, and that should leave you with two inner links. Feed the chain through the front mech and around the bottom bracket shell, as opposed to the chain rings. Next, feed the other end of the chain over one of the smallest cogs and then through the jockey wheels, ensuring that it runs inside the inner tabs on the mech cage. Next, attach one segment of the power link to each end of the chain. Put the two ends of the power link together and then pull it tight using your hand. If you aren't able to engage it fully manually, put the bike into the small chain ring and then pedal it round until the power link is above the chain stay. Then apply some pressure to the pedals while engaging the front brake. If, however, you don't have a power link with you, then you're going to need to take an extra link out. Do this using the chain tool on your multi-tool. It's important to remember not to push the pin all the way out because we will need to reuse this. However, bear in mind that this method is completely against Shimano recommendations. When you start threading your chain through now, ensure that the pin is pointing away from the bike. Leave the end with the pin on the floor and thread the other end of the chain up around the bottom bracket shell and through the front mech. Pull it through and then wrap it around the cassette and through the jockey wheels as before. Next, pull the two ends of the chain together. Ideally, the pin will be slightly protruding through the link so that it stays in place. Now you're ready to start pushing the pin back in with your chain tool. You've got to be really careful though when it's almost in to make sure that it isn't pushing the other side of the cage out. Once you've finished putting the link through, it should be equally embedded on both sides of the chain. You will probably find that the link will be stiff at first. Ensure that it moves freely by flexing the chain around that new link. Now all that's left to do is to put the chain back onto the chain ring. You have effectively taken one complete link out of the chain, so it will be shorter than before. So try not to put too much tension on it by keeping it out of the bigger cogs. Once you've done all that, you're ready to get on your way, but please do bear in mind that where you've repaired it, it is going to be a weak link. So on your ride home, try and keep in a high cadence so you're not putting too much torque through the chain. And secondly, make sure that you replace it before you go out riding again. So in this next series of videos, we're going to be showing you how to do roadside repairs on some of the common mechanicals that you might experience.